So why OER? Well, I'm gonna give you two quick questions. I've already mentioned the financial uh, problems. Uh, finances tend to close down uh, educational opportunities for people. And it has really become, I, I know that everybody's heard about the problem of um, the rising cost of tuition, but if you look at this first graph here, textbook prices have become a really big deal now on college campuses. Um, in the average um, four or five years to get a college degree, it's a, roughly about $5,000 that, that the, average, the average American student pays for a pedagogical materials. And that's especially important when we're dealing with, with people from lower income families, people who don't necessarily, who may be the first in their family to go to college, they're not expecting the high price of textbooks. And so this can be a real deal breaker. We are finding now surveys are showing that people are not going to college because of the high price of tuition and now textbooks. Okay, the, um, and, and I might add in, in secondary level, it's even worse because uh, 10 years ago when the Great Recession hit in 2008, uh, uh, Texas Education Agency and many of the state agencies, the educational agencies, they slashed budgets for textbooks. And guess what? That budget has not come back in the intervening 10 years. So what we have now are, uh, we, have, we have Spanish teachers across the country calling us uh, up at, here at, at, at Coral and saying, I don't have textbooks, what am I supposed to do? So it truly is a, a crisis. The pedagogical reasons I already alluded to at the very beginning, Textbooks are old and they're out of date. Everybody loves to complain about their old fashioned textbooks um, that have a president from 10 years ago or they're citing a, a television show that no longer exists, those kinds of things. Um, but more importantly for the context of heritage Spanish, it's a particular context. And since uh, commercial publishers have to go after the mass market, they create, um, they create generic materials. Now, I don't want to bash publishers. They do a good job at what they can do. Um, but what we're trying to do is, is adapt materials to our, the specific needs of our classroom. So I'm sure that you, you know more than I do about the pedagogical reasons why you need to have particular materials for the particular setting of Heritage Spanish.